Welcome, welcome. I have another quick tutorial for you all. This time, the focus is going to be on mastering our material management within Lumion, specifically with Lumion 7's new features. In this tutorial, we'll be covering specifically the following. As stated in past tutorials, materials are an important aspect of our renders. The goal is for us to be able to take advantage of our materials we can create within one project so they can be utilized and accessed easily for future projects, even building a library of our own. Now let's just go ahead and jump into our demo scene here, Villa Wagner, and start experimenting with copying and pasting our material. Let's go ahead and start with this wall texture here. Now I'm going to go ahead and load in a diffuse map with roughness in the alpha and my normal map, and we're just going to spend some time to get the material just the way I want it, tweaking the settings and the color a little bit. Then we're going to find this wrench here, find edit, then copy. Now let's grab the ground right here really quick. Go to the wrench, edit, then paste. That's how we copy and paste materials. So next we're going to adjust this texture a little bit and then find that wrench again so I can show you how to save our material outside of Lumion as a .lmn file. Now with that .lmn file, all of our slider settings and texture maps will be loadable into any project clicking on that wrench here again and going to load. So I just saved this red metal material, but I'll go ahead and just create another material that I'm going to save as well to that list I have. As you can see, I already have a couple saved here, and I've gone ahead and created my own little library here with materials I've worked really hard on and saved for later. Now I'm going to load these materials in just to show you how simple it is. And now each one comes in exactly the way I saved them before. Now let's go back and bring in that red metal material we created earlier. So now there is one limitation I need to address. When we import a model with textures brought in with it, the diffuse texture slot will have a little lock symbol in the bottom corner, meaning that the material image is not saved in there. So if we save or copy it, the texture image will not come with it. We can either assign another, a new image or the original, but if we don't and copy and save it, only the Lumion slider settings will come in. No texture image like we can see here. Now let's go ahead and jump into another scene here and load in one of our previously saved materials. The method I've shown you for exporting a material library outside is how we've always done it in Lumion. But recently in the release of 7, Lumion has given us a special custom texture spot for an easier, more streamlined access to our custom materials and even a basic preview. Remember, if our material has the lock symbol on it, it will not save here either. So the favorite texture slot is found here and as we've seen, all we need to do is click on the plus here to save our current selected material into our internal Lumion library. And we could jump here anytime and click on any of our saved materials here to apply them instantly. The speed in which we can just toggle in between our saved materials makes us a huge advantage. Now very quickly, I wanted to show how you can copy and paste the new transparency, waxiness, IV, and weathering effects onto nearby materials without adjusting their base appearance. Basically copy and pasting only the added Lumion 7 features by themselves. This makes a lot of sense for Ivy. If we want to convince our viewers that the Ivy is growing on the whole wall, seamlessly transitioning across materials. Okay, for this next part, I wanted to show how fluid selecting the right material for this car model I have after already having created my car paint library in my save materials slot. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Just be able to toggle in between all of these colors. This is how I hope to pick many of my material needs for the future, having them already created and saved. And now this brings us to our last section. Here I'm going to bring in another copy of the exact same car model. Now this model has a ton of materials assigned to it, so copy and pasting each one would take a long time. But by saving the material set here from the completed car, I can import all the materials at once by loading the material set into the new model. Here are all those materials that I was talking about, and now they're all applied. And I can give this car a separate color because it's a new model. A very useful application of this. Now, applying these concepts to our Lubion projects, we can all be masters of material management and complete our future projects faster because of the quick and simple access we have to Lumion's in our own material library. Thanks for watching guys, and keep an eye out for more future tutorials.